Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Now's a great time to save money by checking out your local nurseries, buying perennial flowers and other plants that are on sale. These are all perennial plants. We have Jacob's Ladder, Carnations, Columbine, Yarrow, um, I think we have Sweet William, Ladies Mantle, Bee Balm, White Purple Cone Flower. This flat was only $15. All these perennials will come back year after year. That's what they do. They can take freezing temperatures. So these are only, were only, because I bought a bunch of them, were only 50 cents a plant, or about $15 a flat. These were at Frank's Nursery, where I live. I decided to start Gardening on a Budget, the series, now, so that in real time you can be looking for these sales. So right now, perennial flowers are going on sale. They're perfect for your vegetable garden, because they're going to bring in pollinators um, and beneficial insects. So first rule, when you have a budget, and you don't have a lot of money to spend on gardening, is buy the products off season. A lot of these perennials start going on sale in March, April, and May for top dollar. Come June, they're greatly discounted. So you can start picking up a bunch of perennial plants now, put them into your garden, they're gonna be small, they're not gonna do much. Next year they'll come back, you know, with a vengeance and really bloom, or pot them up like I'm gonna show you. And you can sell some of them maybe at your annual garden yard sale, or you can just hold them in pots until you build that perennial bed next year. Either way, when you're on a budget, you want to buy around peak times and you're going to save yourself a ton of money. The beauty of this is they may not flower, but you can pot these up into four and a half inch containers, half gallon, gallon pots, hold them, you know, put them on the side of your house, maybe where it gets four or five hours of sunshine and just let these do their things. They'll develop beautiful root systems. You can plant your perennial garden next year or you can put them into the ground now. Again, they won't flower a whole lot, but they'll establish and next year for really a great discount, you're gonna have a beautiful perennial garden. You can also pot these up, let them grow for the year and then when you do your uh, vegetable garden sale next year, I'll link the videos that I talk about doing you know, a garden sale to save some money, or actually to make some money so that you can use them in your garden. So when you're selling your tomatoes and peppers next year, you can also sell perennial plants. So we're gonna pot these up, I'm gonna go to Freetown Farm, show you how to do that. But now's the time to look for discounts, either for your garden or maybe for a plant sale that you've started doing year after year. And maybe year after year, you're doing a annual plant yard sale. And again, you're making some of that extra money so that you can put it towards your garden. The perennial plants are a great way to add to that. So this is just four, eight, 12, 16 of the carnation plants planted up into these four and a half inch pots. And they already look bigger. I always laugh because when you pot them up from something smaller like those white four packs, I swear they look bigger, you know, within planting them up really. To do this, any kind of potting mix. So I make my potting mix. You can find that on my channel. That's a great way to save money. This is about 75% peat moss, 25% perlite, and then some organic granular fertilizer. You want a nice firm base. You want this root system to really have something to grow into. So I just fill up the pot about halfway, split the bottom of the roots, and then I just kind of press it in there you want to plant level to where the plant is coming out of the little plug there and then just fill in the sides and just pack it in. You want it nice and firm. Once you have these planted, just give them a water soluble fertilizer every three to four weeks. If you're not going to plant them, if you're going to hold them over till next year, put them somewhere where they're just getting four or five hours of sun. You don't want the sun baking on here for, you know, six, eight, ten hours and drying them out. They can just go somewhere shady. But this is all you really do is you pick up what's on sale plant what you want to plant, pot up what you want to pot up, and then save them, and then you'll be able to, you know, make a little bit of money. How much would you charge for these? Well, they're 50 cents a plant. You got to pay for any of the uh, containers that you buy, the potting mix. So really cheap is $3 up to $5. But remember, you're putting in a lot of care, and sometimes it's best to maybe say, you know, four bucks, three for ten dollars or something like that but you'll be able to figure it out and you can ask people when they come to your plant sale what do they think is a good price the more you create opportunity for people to save some money and buy plants the more people you'll be having um, come to your plant yard sale year after year all right let's put up a few more and I'll show you what so those just look some like. final thoughts please subscribe I'll be doing a whole series on how to have a garden on a budget this held 32 plants they were twenty dollars a flat two for fifteen about fifty cents a plant so, I potted up 
30 plants here. $4 a plant, that's uh, $120. I pretty much recovered my costs right here in everything I had to spend to buy all the flats that you saw earlier. So a couple of things. This is yarrow, white cone flower. This is mixed yarrow. This is a white carnation. The yarrow will fill up this entire container. Next year you can divide it down the middle, pot them up into two separate containers just like this. So you can see how you can kind of increase your inventory. This is a great way to build your budget for your garden and you get to save some money or you can just plant these up and save a lot of money. They're not good at flowers I was mentioning or they won't flower that well. But once they get set up in here, or if you decided to put them right out into your garden for your perennial beds, they're going to establish and next year they're going to come in with full bloom. But I think this is just a wonderful way to save money. And I, again, like I was saying, I swear these look bigger already. So once you pot them up, soak them down with water. You're going to have to water these regularly. Make sure you keep them if they're outside, not in a greenhouse really somewhere where they're getting four, five, six hours of sunlight. You don't want these baking in eight, 10 hours of sun. They can be somewhere where it's more shady. You are have to probably water every other day. You're gonna to wanna to feed these. So after you soak this down, this is where I give them a quick water feeding. And then you would just feed these with any water soluble fertilizer every three to four weeks. Water soluble fertilizer is immediately available to your plant and it's just really good to use for containers because you just want to hit these with nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium that they can use right away. Hope this gives you some ideas of how you can uh, get inventory for your plant sale that you may do every year, how you can save some money, get perennials into the beds now, or let these grow and put them out next year. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe and I'll be teaching you more about how to have a garden on a tight budget. Thanks for watching.